OG you bet. Top Gun man. You bet. You bet. All that we do, day in, day out, does something to a guy, doesn't it? We're here to fight the monsters. The things these people are capable of, they got it coming. Trust me. Congratulations on the show. It's sort of a trilogy, I call it. Uh, the Band of Brothers, The Pacific, from Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. Uh, so what was it like starting in this um, really great series about the airmen from World War II? Yeah, it was great. You know, to get that call up from Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks was like, you know, just a real honor. It's like every, every actor's dream, you know? So it was great just to step into it and, and play these roles. And I want to know some of the behind the scenes. So you're in the B-17, it's called the Flying Fortress. Yeah. Right, so what was that setup like? You were in a cockpit, like a, a cockpit surrounded by a green screen? There was, there, we had a, a few different replica cockpits um, and they were all mounted on this uh, hydraulic gimbal, it was this lift. and. The, the whole of the set was wrapped, uh, there was this 360 degree screen actually, it was this new technology where they were able to uh, display, you know, the terrain and the sky and even the enemy fighters, you know. So when, when we're looking out of that cockpit, we're actually seeing a rendering of these fighters approach us and then the hydraulic uh, gimbal can, can mimic the, you know, impacts on the plane, it can mimic some of the maneuvers um, and everything's moving around with us, almost almost like a simulator, but of course being controlled um, by, by our visual effects team. Um, so it was an incredibly immersive experience and, and, and um, made it really, you know, it's so, it's so exciting for us to, to work on for those fight sequences. It really is a great technology, this volume, the volume set I think is what they call it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can just really feel it as an actor, so you usually have to use your imagination, right? But here you can really feel it. Um, so, did anybody get airsick? Or did you practice? Get airsick? Any training? I don't know that anyone got airsick during training. I mean, you know, we were we were in there for for many hours a day. You know, the, strapped up in there. It wasn't, and we were all we were hooked up to all kinds of equipment. You know, it wasn't easy to hop in and out of. So, you know. Yeah, we were well looked after. Though we we had this we had this crazy thing that like Formula One drivers have which is like this vest and all these tubes and you stick it into like a big hoover filled with cold water and it's sort of around your system to keep you cold. So we were, we were well looked after, no one fainted or threw mm -hmm. up that I know of. Oh. Wow, great. Now, what kind of research did you do for these roles as airmen from World War II? Yeah, I guess it starts with, our, I mean, the series is based on a, a book of, of the same name by Donald Miller. Um, and he knew many of these men uh, who are depicted in the series. So, you know, it, 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 all, it all starts there with, you know, just a, a, you know, a look at, at kind of the, the broader aerial war, but then, you know, the lives of, of these individual men, you know, and then for us, diving into our characters, um, finding anything we could, you know, interviews or, you know, so, something somebody said about them at the time, you know, all, all to kind of give some texture and some life to, uh, to these characters. Um, and, and make them uh, make them real for us. Yeah, these these guys were kind of the OG Top Gun men. OG Top Gun men. You bet. You bet. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, great series. I can't wait for everybody to to watch it. Thank you so, much. so much. Cheers.